Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Galatea Duelist Team with 1,188 rating versus Poey DW with 1,180 rating, so it's going to be another high-rated DB video, and we are going to go ahead and see Galatea Duelist Team win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot and decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we got Heritage of the Chalice, Rhoda, Gear Freed, Fire Flint Lady, and Renaud. They have Perlily, Imperm, Valor, Prosperity, and Book of Moon. Okay, so, you know, they have Double Hand Trap. Uh, they're going to go search Connector, Normal Connector, Connector Effect. And then, in response, they're going to Imperm. Okay. I mean, you know, if you don't use something on this, then Aqua Dolphin's going to rip Valor. And if you stop Aqua Dolphin, then you just gave him an extra body for a discard. Uh, Heritage, go search Museum, Activate Museum, and then Effect, Pay 12, go search, go search out Durendal, and then Activate Durendal, Durendal Effect, search Oliver, and then Destroy, Activate Oliver, send Gear Freed, Special, uh, yeah, definitely going up into Angelica next, and then I can go search out Museum, we have Oliver that's a free summon off of this museum, and then, oh, okay, so they're going to Valor Angelica, but they just chain the effect. Yeah, you can't really Valor Angelica or Impermit just because it can dodge it. Like, you know, dump Turp and go search Museum. And then now we're going to go Oliver effect to equip, special summon Renaud, Renaud effect, add back the Gear Freed. And then we can summon Gear Freed by banishing Durendal. Okay, Fire Flint Lady, special summon out, and then Renaud plus Fire Flint Lady, make a soul, a soul effect on summon, search out for Red Lair, and then a soul effect to go dump, so we're going to dump three, and then try to bring out Aqua Dolphin, yeah, and then we're going to go Aqua Dolphin, discard Red Lair, hit the Pearl Lily out of their hand, burn them for 500, they decided that, they're going to try to play this game out. Uh, Turpin summon and then go up in the Emperor Charles, roll an effect to equip and then go into the link, effect equip Charles, and then we're going to go museum to special Charles, banish for Phoenix Blade, activate Phoenix Blade, go up into the link, effect, equip Charles, and then go up into the Flame Swordsman, banish, uh, grab back Phoenix Blade, and then Okay, yeah, the opponent's just going to admit defeat. I mean, they did get hand looped there uh, somewhat by themselves, but also by Aqua Dolphin, and then the end board's pretty good. We got Gear Freed, Eclipse, Heritage of the Chalice, Fire Flint Lady, Imperm. Well, Imperm plus Eclipse is really strong. They have Delicious, Valor, Book, Pearly, Happy. Like, you know, those are two non-engine cards you'd want to see. They summon Pearly, Effect, Hit my friend Pearly as the third card. Put the others to the bottom. Activate my friend Pearly. Pay 500 and then reveal three sleepy. Get one in hand. Okay. Uh, activate the delicious memory now. Discard Book of Moon. Bring out Pearly. Pearly effect. Chain Imperm on that. Activate Happy Memory. Discard Valor. Summon Pearly. And then Pearly effect on delicious. And then upgrade. Okay, we can go in the Sylvan Princess Sprite. Effect. Look at the top card. And then that's going to hit Ash Blossom. Plump Effect attached to. Activate Sleepy. Chain Plump Effect to attach. And then go up in the Noir. Uh, this is better. Again, you know, if this is what you can make, this is better to go for than to use Sleepy to make the other Noir. Because even though you do get more draws, you play in the books. Uh, they draw Ash, and then Noir effect to draw there. That draws in the pretty main phase, Heritage of the Chalice, go search Museum. And then Activate Museum, Museum, pay 12, go search Durendal. And then Activate Durendal on the Noir. Durendal effect to go search, okay, search out Ogier. And then Normal effect, go dump Turpin. Fire Flint Lady effect, special summon out, so they're just going to let them... Get that far. Not doing anything there. Turpin effect to equip. Now they could do something because this could be um, a synchro now since the Turpin makes that a tuner. So they equip that to OGR. They're going to go spin back OGR to the bottom. Uh, maybe maybe should have also equipped that to Fire Flint Lady. B 
because then maybe the opponent doesn't spin back. But maybe they want them to spin back. I was going to say, because if you equip to this, maybe they think the next play is a Renaud next to OGR, and then you're back to Tuner, non-Tuner, Synchro 5. But Gear Freed, Banish, and then they said, that's fine, no response to Gear Freed, Chain Eclipse, and then they're going to Chain Noir to put back Fire Flint Lady. And then... This can only take face ups. So they're only going to be able to beat over one of these. But you could chain to war again and put back like the museum off of their field. Just so that way they have less chances of extending through. But nope, they're going to hit Turpin. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's just like if something gets equipped, Turpin can summon it's itself out. But if something gets equipped... Museum could also summon whatever it is out, but no, actually, no, 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 you hit Turpin for sure, you hit Turpin for sure, actually, yeah, the more I think about it, because it's going to be harder for you to equip, like, a Noble Knight monster for you to special, when you could just equip any equip spell, and then Turpin summon, and then you still have a soul, um, so yeah, definitely do that, end phase, they get the flip, draw my friend Pearly, draw on the Book of Moon, activate my friend Pearly, and then Galatea just admits defeat there, they can't win, I mean, New York can switch to attack, crash, add back three, like, at the bare minimum, they lose, uh, now on to the next game, they got Red Lair, Book of Moon, uh, Ricardito, Gear Free, Durendal, they got Valor, Street, Pearlily, Imperm, Happy, so they do have Valor plus Imperm, Let's see if it's going to be enough this time around. You know, not starting with normal summon connector, uh, special red layer, and then Durendal effect, grab Ogier, and then, I mean, it's going to be, oh, okay, banish special Ogier. I mean, let's see exactly why they decided to do this, because, of course, you could just normal and bring that out, but they want to save their normal summon for later on. Um, but effect to go dump... So, sure, that's fine. Dumps out the Magus. Um, then they're going to go up in the Emperor Charles. Effect to equip. Gear Freed effect. Banish special. Ogier effect to equip. And then they're just going to go up into Emperor Charles the Great. Um, and then effect. So they get the put back and draw one. It said sec, what effect, Charles to equip, Magius to draw, yep, so draw on the imperm, equip Charles, set book, and imperm pass. I definitely expected more, but maybe it just wasn't even worth committing in the more, because we saw that our opponent plays like Valor, imperm, Ash, um, you know, probably Nib in their deck too. So it's like maybe it's not worth playing into a bunch of those cards and we just end with like, you know, Spell Trap Negate, uh, Monster Negate, and then, you know, now we have Imperm plus Book. We, you know, we didn't know we were going to have the draw off that exactly be nice non-engine, but it was nice non-engine. They're going to Imperm this. They just let it go so that way they don't play in the Thrust. Uh, they could have also gone Main Phase Imperm that, but activate the Field Spell. And then normal summon per lily effect chain imperm activate happy memory and then they're gonna discard ghost bell go bring out pearly pearly effect could be activated there but then they could go gear free to negate it and they lose so they could also just do nothing there so that way they can overlay into slacker um but this will also end up losing because they have book so attack and now they're going to go book onto Slacker Magician at the end of battle. So they're going to actually let them get the battle through. And then they're going to activate Slacker Effect. They're going to gear free. They also didn't have to do it like this. I thought they were going to wait for Downer to book a moon. Um, just by the way it looked. I mean, you know, they took they let them take the damage. They let the battle go through. I thought they were going to go main phase 2. Let them make Downer. Because if the next play is directly Zeus, we have gear free to negate it. And then we have book still. Um, so we could have booked down or then save gear freed. Yeah, but we're just going to, you know, book this. They use the effect to negate it. Um, and then we're going to chain gear freed to stop that. 
And now I was going to say they don't have anything. They literally can't play a card. And the opponent has 6,000 damage to their 58 life points that are left. So they just lose. Yup. Okay. Um, and then they admit defeat. I guess it does make sense to kind of do it like this also. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. You just don't need to go through both your interruptions to stop the Zeus there. Yeah, you definitely just book the downer. Next turn at worst, you have like Ogier or this effect to equip. And then since this still has Charles effect, you still get Charles effect to pop. So then you can pop a card right away. And even if they like set a back row, um, you know, you could just... I mean, it doesn't target the pop. You could just pop the back row even at that point. No, nah, you wouldn't do that. You just pop the monster and try to go for game. Yeah, and then you have spell trap negate. Yep, 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 yep. But all right, uh, seeing how long the match was, the match was about 22 minutes long. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.